Hi friends, I'm Rosie Gandhi, your tech friend, here again to help you with another tool, which is Google Forms in Microsoft Teams. Most of the schools are using Microsoft Teams today and teachers are very well versed with Google Forms. And there is a little problem which teachers are facing, how to use Google Forms in Microsoft Teams. And I've got a lot of requests to make a video on that. So I'm just on with this video to help you, your tech friend. Okay, so we're going to discuss Google Forms and let's quickly make a Google Form. Uh, I'm trying to show you the Google Form, which is self-graded. If everybody is not aware of, I will just quickly show you how to make one. And for that, you just have to go to New, More, Google Forms. Uh, and what uh, you have to just take care is that uh, you have to click on this button. And you see three options, general presentation and quizzes. You just click on quizzes, select this option, make this quiz, release the grade immediately after submission. Yes, you definitely want that. Uh, respondent can see missed question, correct answers, point values. Just save your settings here. Uh, give it a name. Let's name it class test, maybe nine. And uh, let's start making it. Uh, this button is basically used to add a question, this is to import, this is to add a title or description, this is for the image, this is for video, and this is to add another section in the quiz if you want to do that. So let's get going. Okay, so let's make the first question, which uh, we're going to take as multiple choice question. How many days in a week? Okay, let's give options. Uh, I want to make it multiple choice, 9, 7, 5. Uh, when you have to have self-graded, click on the answer key, click on the correct answer, add some feedback if you want to give. I'm just writing here good and save it. Okay, let's go on to add another question and for that before we click done. So that gets saved. Yes, this is a required question. So please mark it here. Add another question. This time we're going to go with multiple uh, check boxes. That means you can allow them to give you more than one answer. What is Corona virus? I know nowadays this sticks onto your head. So generally this is the question which comes. Uh, virus disease hardware software and again we go on to the answer key and mark the correct answers which is this and this uh, before that i forget we need to put points so let's make this two points and previous answer let's give it okay we need to edit this now Okay, so for that, where do we go? Let's check on. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's here. Done. And this is also done, the two points here. Okay, let's go on to add another question. Okay, now this has given a question in the middle here because my cursor was there. So, never mind. Let's go for the next drop down and ask for the question How is photosynthesis helpful? Okay, drop down, first option, food for plants, uh, travel for plants, and music for plants. Yeah, funny I know, but we can just get with this answer key for plants and the points could be one and we are done 
So if we are done, and this is also the required question, we tick mark here. And we are done with everything. Yes, we are. And now we need to send this. Uh, so we are going to use the link here. Shorten the URL. We are going to control C, copy this. And now we will go to Microsoft Teams. Most of you have used Microsoft Teams and you have done assignments in that. So we will use this as an assignment and share with our students. So we will go to assignment, create assignment. And in this section, you could fill in the other details. For example, enter title, class test, instruction, all questions are required. Add resource. Now here we will do is when we say add resource, we will just add the link here. Go to the link option and just add the link here. Control V. Enter description. I'm just writing class test. Attach it and that's it. You can add your rubric if you want and give the date, whichever date you feel you want. Uh, maybe 24 due date. And you want all the students to do it. And just click on assign. So when you click on assign, the students will get to see this particular link, which they then click. And they can directly go to this test. So if you see, they can just attempt it and submit it to you. So guys, this is an easy way of using Google Forms in Microsoft Teams. Very helpful, especially for the schools who are using Microsoft Teams for their virtual classes. Please try this video and don't forget to subscribe and comment and let me know how you find using this tool and share with me how can I help you further. Till then, happy learning. Bye-bye.